Hello Internet, today we have another 1080 Ti for repair. Yep, 1080 Ti cards are still in demand and are performing very well and compete against some of the budget 30 series cards. This particular one is from Gigabyte. Comes with a massive heatsink that does exceptional job keeping your card cool. With all its might and cooling power, something is wrong, so let's open it up and see. Once card was open, a big no-no was discovered. Please never ship your card without some kind of a thermal paste, otherwise you risk cracking the core. In any case, let's take some measurements and see if we find anything criminal. First I'm gonna check this fuse, and it seems to be okay. Now the 12 volt seems okay. 3.3 volt 10k. PEX 100 ohms. 35 on memory. This one here is 1.8 volt rail with 780 ohms. Kilo ohms on this 12 volt inductor. 5 volt with 700 ohms. Short circuit on this inductor and this one is good. This 12 volt rail powers a number of driver MOSFETs, so let's take a look at them and see if we find one of them blown. After looking around for some time, this one shows clear sign of a blowout. My only concern at this point is that the PCB has survived and whether or not I'll be able to fix this card. The one and only way to find out is of course to remove the chip and take a look. It seems to be welded to the board and refuses to come out, so I'll have to raise the temperatures and keep at it until it comes loose. Okay, the chip is out and it took most of the pad along with it. We'll deal with that later. For now, let's double check the resistances is normal and as you can see, it is. Now let's take a look at the contact layout for this DR MOS. It looks like we don't need to do much here. Pads on the left are parallel with the burn one on the right. And the next pin above on the right is also connected to the rest of the pins as you can see here, so I don't need to worry about it either. That means it's our lucky day, so let's get this area prepared for a new driver MOSFET.
Okay, let's power on the card and see what it does. It looks like it's drawing one and a half amp, which is a good sign. Now let's plug it into a computer and see if we get a picture. In case you're wondering if this will work, it absolutely will. This card has 12 phases and only one is disabled right now. Some cards are configured to run regardless of a missing phase, but some cards require all phases in order to boot. So don't make any assumptions based on this example alone. Ok, card boots, shows picture, and even the memory test has passed. That's great, so there's absolutely no reason not to continue with the repair. Since these DR mosses like to die in pairs, and I don't have any available replacements right now, I want to remove a pair and replace them with the pair from the bottom. If that will work, I will order new parts. Once those were soldered, looking at the thermal cam shows me that there's nothing wrong. It seems like two are getting hot, but they're not. They're hardly human body temperature. One thing to note is that I tried using DR moss from a donor board, but it didn't work. That is because the donor board is a different revision. It has a slightly different pinout, and the DR mosses themselves are also different, so I cannot use them. If I do, they will short to 12 volt very quickly, and don't ask me how I know this. In any case, the new DR mosses came in, so let's get them prepped.
All right, soldering job is complete. Let's uh, look at the thermal camera and see if anything's getting abnormally hot. And it looks like everything's okay. I'm going to verify the voltages on the face and we're good. New pad on the memory coil. Since the old one was ripped, followed by assembling the card and off we go for a test drive. As you can see, temperatures are very good and stable. Superposition flies smooth and it even gave us a good score. The valley looks amazing as well and this is it. I hope you guys learned something today and if so, you owe me a like and a comment below. Also, if you need a repair, please don't hesitate to contact me. Links are in the description. Goodbye.